will be Spice Gripper Klitscher from Simple House where Spice of Your Life. Well, in this unsponsored. Unsponsored? Is that even a word? Yeah, you heard me. In this unsponsored video, we're going to put them to the test by creating an organized spice prison in one of our kitchen cabinets to see how well they keep your spices secure. Kitchen Gadget Corner with Daddy! Here are the results of my first attempt to create my Spice Gripper Clip Strips prison. After cleaning the servers with an alcohol swab, I peeled off the back and then placed them down on the surface. Simple Housewares recommends leaving the clip strips in place for 24 hours to make sure they are securely fastened or otherwise the spices will break out of their prison and fall to their death. You can also see there are holes for screws if you want a more permanent solution to keep your spices in their well-organized prison. My expertise with carpentry really shines here. The slanted upper strip is a testament to my artistic side. But having a slanted strip shouldn't matter, right? So after waiting the recommended 24 hours, I then placed my spices into my version of Sing Sing. I had two good reasons for wanting these spice gripper clip strips. Number one, easier to find the spice that I want so I don't have to go digging through all my spices in an unorganized holding cell. And number two, save space in the cabinet itself. We were loving the space we were saving and the easy access to our spices. But it didn't take long before the prison walls began to crumble. Problem number one. I should have made sure that the spicing hairs wouldn't hit the cabinet shelves when closed. I knew how to avoid the problem beforehand, but by taking shortcuts when installing the strips, I picked up a stone and dropped it on my own foot. Problem number one was my own fault. Problem number two reared its ugly head in about two to three days as the design of the glass spice bottles didn't allow for a secure grip and the spice bottles easily slipped free from their shackles. The picture on the Amazon product even shows using similar glass spice bottles to the ones that I was keeping chained up, but no, 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 no. Don't you dare try to use them. If the design of the glass spice bottles looked like the design of this basal container, maybe it worked, but I wouldn't trust it since problem number three. The glass spice bottles are just too heavy for the shackles to hold them up. In this shot, you can clearly see that one of the spice racks lost its grip on the cabinet and start to sag. Now, it's certainly true that this is a specific slanted one from earlier, so that might have contributed to the problem, but even on the straightly installed strip below, the glass containers would fall when opening the cabinet, which led to the untimely demise of our dearly departed Coriander. Problem number four. When using containers that do not have a similar design to the shape of this basal container, the clips begin to widen out. You can see when we secure the wide time loose container or the coriander container, the clips begin to loosen, which means less holding power, which contributed to the reason why the glass spice containers began to escape their well intentioned prison. The wide, Short plastic containers never fell, but that's because they weren't as heavy as the glass containers. They widened the plastic strips, but with their light plastic container, the clips kept their grip and haven't let the prisoners escape. But I found a solution to all these problems, and Sing Sing is now an inescapable organized prison, bringing freedom to the rest of the law-abiding spices of the cabinet. Here's what I did after I took off one strip that was completely unstraight. Solution number one. First, instead of haphazardly installing the strip in a slanted manner and praying that the spice containers wouldn't interfere with the cabinet shelf, I got out a measuring tape and measured how much room I would need above the strip. Then I placed pencil marks for where the top of the spice gripper clip strips needed to be on both sides of the cabinet to avoid the cabinet shelf and drew a line to help me align their proper placement for the prison walls. Just a little pre-planning took care of the spice containers hitting the shelf and the slanted strip problem. Solution number two. No more glass bottles for the spices I use and for the spices I want in the Sing Sing Gripper Clip Strips prison. I also cannot use any large spice containers like the ones from Costco, but I never planned to imprison them anyway. So I replaced all the spice bottles that gave me problems with spice bottles that I knew would work, where each of these spice bottles are plastic and have a lip so that they cannot escape the shackles of Sing Sing. Just by implementing these two solutions, there have been no more prison riots 
and the prison door is closed securely without disturbing the free spices of the cabinet. So if you are wanting to organize your spices and save yourself some room in your spice cabinet, then the spice stripper clip strips are a cheap solution for as long as you are willing to be restricted to using plastic spice bottles for most of your spices. Oh, and does anyone know of a place to buy plastic spice bottles that are about the size of the basil ones so that I can fill up those bottles and put them in Sing Sing for all the spices that I cannot buy in those prison compatible containers? Happy Healthy Wild Chef Barry here reminding you to... Wait a minute, you're still here? Well, if so, then you might want to consider clicking on the like button or leaving a comment down below. It really helps support the channel. And you can also subscribe and click the bell to be notified of all my new videos that come out on Mondays with shorts on Thursdays. Thanks for watching. Have a happy and healthy day.